In other news, lawyers representing Samsung CNT and the American hedge fund Elliott Management clashed over an injunction deal in court on Friday. Elliott says the proposed merger between Samsung CNT and Jail Industries is unlawful and unfair and should be blocked. The court says a decision will be made by July 1st. Our Shin Zemin has the latest on this ongoing legal battle. A district court in Seoul has heard the first injunction brought by U.S. hedge fund LE Management against Samsung Group's construction arm, Samsung CNT. Elliott, which has a 7.1 percent stake in Samsung CNT, is arguing that the company's proposed merger with another Samsung affiliate, Chael Industries, is unfair to shareholders. It claims the numbers don't add up, and Samsung CNT's stockholders are getting offered well under the odds for their shares. Elliott also takes issue with the recent sale of Samsung CNT's treasury shares to the merger-friendly local manufacturer, KCC, an attempt by Samsung CNT to sway the merger vote their way at a shareholders meeting set to take place in mid-July. Given the circumstances, those in legal circles believe Samsung has a stronger case, at least in the first hearing. In the past, local courts have supported Korean firms in cases like this, but it could be a difficult story if Elliott Management pushes for a trial or makes it an investor state dispute. If either of those happen, they will be judged by a different standard. He said Samsung CNT's board of directors could be seen as putting the generational power transfer taking place at the top of Samsung Group ahead of the interests of their own shareholders. Experts say one of the lessons Korean conglomerates should take away from Samsung's legal battle is that the corporate governance should most importantly reflect the interests of their shareholders, something that many family-driven businesses need to make way for. Shin Sae-min, Arirang News.